The sudden death of a Little Rock Central High School football player has an entire community reeling tonight. THV 11's Jay Jackson spoke with his family and coach about their loss. Devon Duhart was a senior here and had big dreams of going to the NFL before he passed away Saturday. His family still coping with his loss. Very playful guy, real energetic, or, or just a fun person to be around. Him. Malik Duhart remembers his little brother's love for the game. He loved football. He always felt like football was going was gonna to be his way out. And I was the one, you know what I'm saying, telling him that it could be that way. But also, if anything, you know, make sure you have your grades to fall back on. Make sure you, you know, so you have other plans to do. Devon Duhart was set on making it to the NFL and had academic goals prepared for his senior year as a running back for the Central Tigers. On my short time with him, he was a very hardworking kid and he had a great attitude. Uh, he was a guy that could inspire his teammates. The 16-year-old was found dead inside his home by his mother after not feeling well one football practice last week. His family said he had a seizure in his sleep a day after going to the hospital. I guess, you know, that was something that wasn't caught and when I, I got up Friday morning, I found him. Teresa Duhart is Devon's mother, who still doesn't know the exact cause of death for her son. But the outpouring of love from the community is helping her heal. Whatever he did to them, for them, with them, because of them, remember those things. He was especially close with his family, older siblings Malik and Derricka, and younger sister, Jemiah, a freshman who was looking forward to seeing him at school this fall. He would come knock on my door and he would be like, open up. And then I'd be like, no, nah, no, nah, leave me alone. Just to know that that knocking is not coming no more is just, is like crazy. Jade Jackson, THV 11 News. Thank you, Jade. The uh, young man's wake will be this Friday at Central High, their gymnasium, and then his funeral service is scheduled for Saturday.